question number 151 3y 7x plus 7 dx plus 7y minus 3x plus 3 dy equal to 0 let's write dy by dx from this equation dy by dx is equal to minus of t okay we will take inside we have 7x minus 3y minus 7 by 7y minus write x time for minus 3x plus 7y plus 3 call this equation 1 so it's not a homogeneous equation uh, we have to first convert it into a homogeneous form uh, and then solve from there so for such question we use the substitution small x is equal to capital x plus h and small y equal to capital y plus k this equation 2 for this substitution to work we have to first check whether ratio of the coefficient of x in numerator to denominator and is not equal to the ratio of coefficients of y uh, in numerator and denominator so here it is 7 by minus 3 sorry uh, 7 by minus 3 and minus 3 by 7 which is not equal so we can proceed with the solution so uh, differentiating equation 2 we have dx is equal to d capital X and dy equal to d capital Y therefore we have dy by dx equal to d capital Y by d capital X all this equation 3 now using uh, 2 and 3 in 1 we have uh, d capital y by d capital x is equal to 7x minus 3 capital y plus 7h minus 3k minus 7 by minus 3 capital x plus 7 capital y plus minus 3h plus 7k plus 3 all this equation 4 now it's not a homogeneous equation but if we find h and k such that sorry if we find h and k such that 7h minus 3k minus 7 is equal to 0 and minus 3h plus 7k plus 3 is equal to 0 then uh, this equation 4 reduces to a homogeneous form so to find h and k seven H minus three K minus seven equal to zero and minus three H plus seven K plus three equal to zero. We have two variables and two equations solving we have H by uh, minus three into three is minus nine minus seven into seven is forty nine plus forty nine equal to K by minus 7 into minus 3 is 21 minus 7 into 3 let me just check Six. It becomes 21 goes to 0 ok 1 by 49 minus 9 h becomes 49 minus 9 is 40 by 40 equal to 1 and k equal to 0 by 
40 equal to 0. Let me just check k equal to 0. Uh, k 0 and 7 is equal to 1. 0, k equal to 0 and 7. Okay, this is correct only. So k is equal to 0 and h is equal to, uh, sorry, let me just k equal to 1 and h is equal to 0 uh, therefore h is equal to 1 and k equal to 0 let's call this equation 5 okay from equation 2 we know that capital x is equal to x minus h so capital x is equal to x minus 1 and capital y equal to y minus k here k is 0 so y equal to y so let's call this equation 6 now we have our equation 6 uh, we will use this equation 6 later in the solution now applying h and k value in equation 4 we have using 5 in 4 dy by dx is equal to 7x minus 3y by minus 3x plus 7y minus 3x plus 7y 7y okay so this is a homogeneous equation uh, uh, this is a homogeneous equation we can let's call this equation equation 7 we can solve such equations using the substitution y equal to vx equation 8 so it is homogeneous because dy by dx can be written as a function of y by x if you divide the numerator and denominator by x you can see dy by dx is a function of y by x now differentiating equation 8 with respect to x on both sides we have dy by dx equal to v plus x dv by dx which is equation let's say equation 9 now using 8 and 9 in 1 we have um, v plus x dv by dx is equal to 7 minus 3 v okay before that 7x minus 3 vx by minus 3x plus 7 vx so now cancelling x from numerator and denominator and bringing v to the right hand side we have x dv by dx is equal to 7 minus 3v by minus 3 plus 7v minus v so we have 7 minus 3v plus 3v uh, minus 7v square by minus 3 plus 7v okay, simplifying we have x dv by dx is equal to uh, 3v and 3v can cancel so we will take 7 outside also 7 into 1 minus v square by minus 3 plus 7v now this is a form where we can use the method of separation of variables bringing all the terms of v to one side and x to the other we have minus 3 plus 7v by 7 into 1 minus v square um, is dv equal to dx by x so we have this now uh, we can split this into two terms so minus 3 by 7 into 1 by 1 minus v square dv uh, plus uh, let's write this 7 into v by uh, so 7 and 7 get cancelled and we get v by 1 minus v square but the differential of a denominator is minus 2v so we need minus 2v so we write instead minus 1 by 2 2v 
sorry minus 2v into 1 minus v square okay dv so 7 gets cancelled okay is equal to dx by x now all the terms all the terms can be easily integrated integrating we have minus 3 by 7 into uh, the diff this integral uh, so yeah, we will just write 1 by 1 minus v square dv minus 1 by 2 integral minus 2v 1 minus v integral dx by x plus c okay. now uh, we can integrate this using uh, this integral has a standard formula which is integral 1 by uh, a square minus x square um, dx is equal to 1 by 2a log a plus x by a minus x okay. so we will be using the standard formula to solve this first integral so we have okay, minus 3 by 7 into 1 by 2a so a is 1 here so 1 by 2 log uh, a plus x so 1 plus v by 1 minus v minus 1 by 2 log 1 minus v square equal to log x plus c so we have this now we can um, multiply throughout by minus 14 okay minus 14 if you multiply throughout by minus uh, multiply by minus 4 we have uh, log okay. 3 log 1 plus v by 1 minus v um, plus 7 log 1 minus v square equal to minus 14 log x plus c so bringing this log x to uh, lhs and applying the logarithm properties we have log 1 plus v by 1 minus v all raise all cube into 1 minus v square all raised to 7 um, and into x raised to 14 equal to c. So here it becomes c1. I just kept it as c. So c1 is nothing but c1 equal to minus 14 c. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we can simplify this further. 1 minus v square is nothing but uh, 1 plus v into 1 minus v. So 1 plus v the whole raised to 7 into 1 minus v the whole raised to 7. Log. So we can take e to the power on both sides and simplify. We can do both steps on in one e, e to the power on both sides. We have 1 plus v cube by 1 minus v cube, v cube into 1 plus v the whole raised to 7 into 1 minus v the whole raised to 7 into x raised to 7 equal to another constant c2 where c2 equal to e raised to c1 okay now we can cancel and simplify things 1 plus v raised to 
10 into 1 minus v raised to 7 minus 3 4 into x raised to 7 is equal to uh, sorry x raised to 14 I don't know where this x raised to 14 mistake raised to 14 is to 14 equal to c2 now uh, we can uh, from equation uh, 8 we can apply v equal to y by x uh, from equation 8 we have v equal to y by x so we will be applying that here we have x plus using 8 x plus y the whole raised to 10 by x raised to 10 into uh, x minus y the whole raised to 4 into x raised to 4 into x raised to 14 equal to c2 so this cancels it cancelled so now we have this and we can apply another equation substitution where y equal to y and x is equal to x minus 1 so we can apply that substitution uh, so x plus y minus 1 whole raised to 10 into uh, x plus 1 x pro, uh, sorry x minus y x minus y Uh, x minus 1 x minus y minus 1 equal to c2 we can take root sorry, 10 and 4 right we can square take square root on taking square root on both sides we have x plus y minus 1 raised to 5 into x minus y minus 1 square is equal to c3 where c3 equal to root c2 okay another constant so this is our equation x plus y minus 1 raised to 5 into uh, so in the answer it is written y minus x plus 1 so it is same only so if if the in the answer the, in the textbook it is written x plus y minus 1 raised to 5 into y minus x plus 1 the whole square since it is a square if you take minus 1 outside and square it uh, the answer will remain the same so so yeah or either a or this or the same answer so this is the solution to our question these are the steps solution to question number 151